I just wish we didn't have to compromise with this evil hinge design. The whole thing has me just a little unhinged today. Hi, it's Owen of Van Trick and Lifestyle, and you know, if I could sleep on the ground like Maggie can and just lie anywhere and sleep, I wouldn't need to be doing this video, but here I am. Wouldn't you say that one of the main reasons you buy an RV is to be able to sleep in it? You know, you go for an adventure, you go out for a hike, you cook something, you enjoy a fire, and then eventually, you go inside and you get to sleep on your own bed. Wouldn't you agree that that's one of the reasons we all buy RVs? You guys know how much we love our Winnebago Echo, but I gotta tell you, there's one evil flaw with it, and it's really touted as being one of the best things about it. So before I tell you about this evil flaw that's part of the design of the Winnebago Echo, let's talk about a thing called height and weight. If you Google the average height of an adult male, you'll find that Google will tell you it's somewhere between 5 feet 11 inches and 6 feet 1 inches. So, let's just round that up to be 6 feet. So guess how tall I am? 6 feet. Well, I used to be. I may be shrinking now. If you Google the average weight of someone who's 6 feet tall, they'll tell you it's 180 pounds. But, that also includes 25-year-olds that weigh 160 pounds. So I'm going to round that up for guys that have a little gray hair as being 190 pounds. Guess how much I weigh? You guessed it. So why in the world am I sitting outside here in the Okeechobee Swamp telling you guys about height and weight and Googling and getting the averages? Well... Wouldn't you think when Winnebago designs the bed that they say is one of the best beds they've ever put in an RV of this size, that they would take into consideration a male that is of average height and of average weight? I'm here to tell you they don't. It's not just that there's a hinge. It's the fact that there's a hinge that lands right where your hip bone is if you lie on your side, if you happen to be six feet tall. And as if the hinge is not bad enough, they chose to install the bolts upside down so that the bolts actually dig into your body when you're trying to go to sleep. So if that's the design flaw, how do you fix it? Well, the only real way to do it is to do what James from the Fit RV did and take the Froley system completely out and replace it with slats and a new mattress that is a real mattress. But we don't want to do that for a couple of reasons. First, it makes the mattress heavier, so it becomes harder to lift the mattress to get underneath it for the storage. And we do that quite a bit. And second, it makes it higher off the ground. So it's already a little cumbersome to get on the bed when you're not at the very top of it. So to make it three or four inches taller, well, that's going to make it a little more difficult to get in. And third, when you're lying with your head underneath that cabinet, it's going to reduce that clearance by three or four inches. And I don't want to do that either. I do like what he did to create that and I bet he sleeps a lot better than I do because of that but there are reasons right now that we're not going to do that and add to that the fact that we're on the road for another week and a half and I don't want to try to do something permanent while I'm on the road. Another way to solve it temporarily would just be to sleep with your head where your feet are supposed to be. Put your feet up at the other end and Bob's your uncle. It's far enough up then that the, the hinge won't hit your hip and you should be able to sleep more comfortably. And while that is a temporary fix, I don't want to do that forever because I like having a little nightstand right beside of me. I like having my phone there. I like having a place to put the drink. I like having the reading light. It's where Winnebago intended for you to sleep anyway. So. I don't want to make that my permanent solution. So then that led us to trying to find solutions that we could implement while we're out on the road. The first thing we tried was this. It's a rolled up towel that we just put over the hinge and the little bolts. And I got to tell you, it helped a little bit. It gave some relief from those sharp bolts sticking into your back and your side. But it kind of felt like being in a sleeping bag and having something under your back when you're sleeping. And I, and I know that sounds a lot like the princess in the pea, but getting a good night's sleep is important if you're going to do things every day and you're, you're going to try to experience as much as you can when you're out there. So even though that worked a little, we kept looking for a better solution. And then we went shopping at Target and we picked up this floor mat that is cushioned. And I thought that'll be perfect. I can lay it across the Froley's and it should give me enough relief from that hinge and those bolts. So you lift the mattress up and you lay it right here. And then, well, put the mattress back down 
when you're laying on it now, you can't feel that. And voila, that just works like it's supposed to. Now, it's not a perfect solution because while it does provide some relief, you can still tell that there's something there. And I can tell you after a night of sleeping on it that it's a little hard to sleep on. The Frolies are actually softer without that on there. So even though it's not a permanent fix, I believe the $30 we spent for this floor mat means that it's going to be a bearable solution that I can kind of live with until we get back home and we can try to find a more permanent solution to this problem. I'm sorry to be rambling about such a negative thing. I don't mean to be whining. I guess I just expect when you get something and they say it's going to be an awesome bed and an awesome way to sleep that it actually is going to be and for the first five or six nights it is but the mattress starts to compress a little after that and then the design flaw of having the hinge and the bolts and the other things right underneath a pressure point when you're sleeping well I think they could have thought that out a little bit better and maybe they will in the 2023s and maybe they'll think about that in the 2024s but we're not getting one of those and we don't have one of those so we've got to make this one work our $30 fix makes it livable until we can get home, and that's all we really wanted to do. We also wanted to share with you that even though we tell you we love this RV, no RV is perfect, and there are things about it that we wish were different. That's the way it's going to be for you, too, if you get one of these or if you get anything. There's going to be something about it that you wish was just a little different and fit you better. Because they can't make something that comes off of a factory floor that fits everybody perfectly. It's just one of these things where everyone has to compromise. I just wish we didn't have to compromise with this evil hinge design. The whole thing has me just a little unhinged today. And that's the reason for this rant. Thanks for listening. I'm Owen. This is Van Trekking Lifestyle. And if I sleep well tonight, we'll be happy tomorrow and put out a happy little video. Until we see you down the road, thanks for being part of our journey.